Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to, um, set your, like, uh, Windows sounds to play sounds that you want it to play really easily without, uh, any external programs, really. Okay, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your volume, uh, thingamajigger, your volume thing that you adjust your volume with, and double click on it so that, uh, the volume menu comes up. If you don't have one of these down here, then uh, all you have to do is go into Control Panel, uh, Sounds and Audio Devices, then Advanced. It'll open it up. Okay, now uh, now what you're going to want to do is uh, leave this open somewhere and click Start, then uh, Run, and then type in S N D R E C. 32, which is just the Windows Sound Record program that's on every Windows computer. I don't know about Vista, but I know it's on every other one. And you click OK, and this will bring up the little sound recorder utility. Okay, and then uh, this next part, it's going to turn off my microphones so while adding a narration later, because uh, I'm going to set it so that uh, instead of recording out of the microphone, it will record straight out of the speakers. Because there's this little thing on your sound card that'll do that. So then click, you're going to want to click options in the master volume thing, then properties. Then it brings up this little thing. Then bring up the, uh, then click the radio button labeled recording, which will bring up your different things that you can record from. And then, uh, check, put, mark the checkbox next to stereo mix. Or, mo and if stereo mix isn't there, then next to mono mix. So, uh, next to stereo mix, then click OK. Then you'll have a new little tab in recording, labeled Stereo Mix. See how mine's checked on microphone? That's because I'm talking through the microphone. When I check Stereo Mix, it's going to turn off my microphone. So I'm going to tell you what to do before that right now. Have iTunes open or like some internet page that you want the sound from. Uh, and then get ready to record the sound. Just watch exactly what I do and I'll add, I'll, I might add narration in later if it's unclear. Okay, so then I click okay, on the stereo mix. Okay, this is just me recording it in later. Okay, so then after you click on your stereo mix thing, then uh, you can go ahead and click record, then start up the song that you want or sound thing you want, which is I'm using the fire. Okay, Uh, S and D R E C only goes up to uh, 60 seconds, so you'll have to use something else if you want it longer than that. Okay. Uh. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> that recorded your sound that you need for the uh, to save as the Windows thing, and then click uh, Save As. And I'll just save it to my desktop as. Uh, uh, fire dot wave. It saves as a wave file. And just click save. And then it, here it is, right here. Just saved it. Then uh, I'll exit out of that. I'll just minimize that. And then uh, then go into your control panel. And then sounds and audio devices. And then uh, here we go. Here it is sound and then that'll bring up your windows uh sound the browser thing then uh you can replace it as any of these sounds but i'm gonna replace it as the start windows sound which sounds like wait a sec uh, okay which is which is this sound So then I'm going to uh, replace that, so then just click browse after you click on the start windows sound and go up to your desktop which where you saved your thing. <coughs> oh, I gotta find it, I don't remember where it is. Uh, This is why I hate this computer. Document.
that's upsetting. So, uh, Master Chief Desktop. There we go. Here it is. Fired out wave. And just click apply. Then on start Windows, they'll play that instead of uh, instead of your normal sound. And then that's all you need to do. Then just click OK, and when you restart your computer, it'll play that instead of your uh, default Windows sound.